Welcome back friends. Today we're going to talk about Disney dining. Now they offer many, 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 many options when it comes to their dining. So I will try to break it down for you quickly. I'm also going to mention the dining plan and its credits very briefly. I'm not going to spend too much time on it because it is currently unavailable. If they bring it back, I'll have another video about it then. First, what you need to know is that there are three different categories for Disney dining in their restaurants. They are quick service, table service, and signature dining, which is really a subcategory of the table service. So anything you get at one of the kiosks, such as popcorn, Mickey bars, Mickey pretzels, etc., they are considered snacks, and they can be considered a snack credit if you have the Disney dining plan. The quick service restaurants are any restaurant in which you do not need a reservation, you can walk up to the counter and order your food. So examples are Cosmic Rays and Pico Spills in Magic Kingdom, or the ABC Commissary and Docking Bay 7 in Hollywood Studios. At this type of restaurant, you order your food, pick it up, and then find a table and sit down. Think of it as fast food. A few years ago, Disney introduced mobile ordering on the My Disney Experience app. So what you do is you order your food ahead of time, you pick a time you would like to pick your food up. Once that window comes around, you click, I'm on my way, and you should actually be on your way. And then they actually begin making your order. People then get a notification in the app that it's ready and you just need to go in and pick it up. Pretty simple. And then it will be charged to the credit card you have linked on the My Disney Experience app. Now, due to COVID-19, Disney has really encouraged the use of mobile ordering. And in some cases, they only allow mobile ordering at restaurants. But as some of the restrictions are easing, they are allowing walk-up orders again. However, it's still super convenient to order your food in the morning and then just know it's pretty much ready to go. Table service. Okay, so as a, these are casual restaurants where you sit down, server comes to your table, takes your order, and brings you your food. So these restaurants are great if you need a break from the parks or air conditioning, you need a break from the heat. Table service restaurants often have a theme, whether that's a specific country such as Tokyo Dining or Via Napoli in Epcot, or maybe a more family friendly Disney kind of theme like Tusker House or even the Rainforest Cafe in Animal Kingdom. And signature dining is technically a table service style restaurant, but it's much more higher end. So they're more of your fine dining experience with the price tag to beat. So typically you might want to dress a little bit nicer for these restaurants. However, you're not going to be turned away if you don't. The style of restaurant includes California Grill at the Contemporary Resort, Narcissus, or Victoria and Albert's in the Grand Floridian Resort. Table service restaurants can be buffet or menu that you choose an item from. They can be in the parks, Disney Springs, or at the Modern and Deluxe Resorts. Character dining is also an option at Walt Disney World. These are restaurants all over the Disney campus that allow you to have a meal with the characters. They are always a table service restaurant. As you eat your meal, the characters will come around to the restaurant and they will be able to talk with you, take a photo, do an autograph. There's typically four or five characters that come per meal. And depending on the restaurant, this could be Mickey and the Gang, Winnie the Pooh and Friends, Random Assortment of Princesses. There's lots of options. Another option at Disney are the dinner shows. They have two shows and both are buffets. The first is the Hoop Dee Doo Musical Review at the Fort Wilderness Campground. It's a comedy show starring cowboys and cowgirls from the Wild West. And it was just announced that this will be coming back June 23rd, but you can start making reservations as early as May 26th. The second is the Spirit of Aloha Dining Show, which is meant to be a traditional Polynesian luau, but rumor has it this one will not be returning. Only time will tell. One of my favorite options is the Epcot festivals. Epcot is an entirely different animal when it comes to food. So not only do they have fun themed restaurants like Coral Reef where you get to eat inside an aquarium, but they have different culinary options in each country around the world showcase. Throughout the year, Epcot also features different festivals. During each festival, in addition to their brick and mortar restaurants, they have bonus nations represented with kiosks all over the world showcase. Some of these extras include Israel, Hawaii, and Africa. Each kiosk features a signature dish from its homeland. The festivals and menus change throughout the year, but the locations generally stay the same. Okay, as promised, quick overview of the dining plan. Once again, when they bring this back, I will have a more comprehensive video about it, probably because things will have changed. Okay, so this is subject to change at any time, especially when it becomes available again, but there are typically three options and each are priced accordingly. Depending on the option you choose, you will get varying amounts of meal credits. So this includes snack credits, which can be used at the kiosks or at the Epcot festivals, quick service credits, and lastly, table service credits. 
you get a certain amount of credits per night you stay on Disney property, which is another benefit of staying at a Disney resort with a vacation package. One thing to note is that the signature restaurants require two credits, but that's it. If they bring the plan back, I'll have another video about it. So that's it for Disney dining. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment box below because I will be doing a question and answer video at the end of my Disney series where I help you plan a trip. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe because I have more videos coming and I don't want you to miss them. See you later.